Welcome to Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity. My sister and I would like to share a treasure we found in our mother's attic, our grandfather's writings. For over 50 years, Papa was internationally known as the preacher of the timeless Word of God. Please join us now for a five-minute devotional taken from the books, Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, based on the writings of the Rev. L.A. Mead. Today we continue looking at the subject of my grace. And our key verse is 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. Dr. Philip Brooks says, do not pray for easy lives, pray to be stronger men. Do not pray for tasks equal to your power, pray for power equal to your tasks. Then the doing of your work shall be no miracle, but you shall be a miracle. Every day you shall wonder to yourself the riches of life which have come to you by the grace of God. Let us continue to study the last phrase of our text, for you. For underneath all our care is Christ's care for us. Henry Morehouse returned home one morning carrying a parcel, a present for his wife, and was greeted by his little disabled daughter. She asked that she might have the pleasure of carrying the present to the room where mother was. But you know, dear, you cannot carry it, he said, thinking of her weak state. Give it to me and see, she challenged him. So the parcel was handed to her, and then she said, Now I'll carry the parcel, and you carry me. So it is with us. If I must carry a burden, Christ will carry me. Underneath us are the everlasting arms of an all-sufficient grace which never fails. My grace is sufficient for you. Oh, what a wonderful promise. Do you notice that the promise is in the present tense? My grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient now. I need grace for each moment as it comes, and His grace is as constant as my breathing. Now, is the grace of Christ really adequate in the extreme adversities of human experience? A missionary was asked to call and see an invalid. He was blind and lying upon a bed, for every joint in his body was immovable, but his mind was full of vigor and his heart full of grace of service. For twenty-nine years he had lain thus, fed only with liquid foods. For twenty-two years he had been blind. Is it possible that such a one could do anything to help others? Listen. Seventeen blind children are supported by his efforts in India, and ten more in China. A blind woman in Korea, a blind boy in the Sudan, a blind boy in Fiji, and a blind woman in Jaffa. Three hundred pounds a year is received in answer to a prayer of that faithful, sightless, silent, paralyzed disciple in that little shut-in room in Melbourne. Yes, my grace is sufficient for you. Here is the source my grace. Here is the supply, sufficient. Here is the sustenance it brings, sufficient for you. The source is infinite, the supply is proportionate, and the sustenance is individually adequate. In the words of the old hymn, He giveth more grace as the burdens grow greater, He sendeth more strength as the labors increase. To added affliction he addeth his mercy, to multiplied trials his multiplied peace. When we have exhausted our store of endurance, when our strength has failed ere the day is half done, when we reach the end of our hoarded resources, our Father's full giving has only begun. His love has no limit, His grace has no measure, His power has no boundary known unto men. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus, he giveth and giveth and giveth again. By Annie Johnson Flint Thank you, Father, for the grace you give to me moment by moment. I trust you, Lord. Amen. We hope you will visit us online at www.classicchristianity.net. If your goals include spending time with the Lord each day, we can help. Thank you for joining us for Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity.